Hey, I'm Andrew Dash, and since we're recording this to a hard drive, I am a digital sound projector. Much like this Yamaha YSP2200. Actually, absolutely nothing like this YSP2200. I don't have any HDMI inputs, and I'm much taller. Anyway, um, so what is this thing? Well, we're not new to digital sound projectors, but maybe you are. So here's a quick, and I do mean quick, summary. A traditional soundbar has several speakers that simply replace the speakers on your TV and give you a bit better sound quality. Well, given just how bad TV speakers are getting, they actually give you much better sound quality. Still, if you do any simulated surround sound, it's merely phase-induced, not very sophisticated. Sometimes it kind of even ruins the sound. Yamaha's digital sound projectors, on the other hand, use a number of tiny speakers that work in conjunction with a very sophisticated algorithm to literally place five virtual speakers in your room. That means that unlike a traditional soundbar, you can steer the beams so that your surround speakers are exactly where you want them to be. Of course, with the YSP2200, it uses 16 tiny speakers that are aligned across the front. The system itself is only 3 and 1 8 inch high, and it has a removable and height adjustable feet, so it really can't have a low profile and sit right in front of your tabletop flat panel TV. The included subwoofer is meant to also hide nearly as well as the bar. It can be mounted vertically or horizontally, and aside from that, it does have many of the same features you'd expect to see in a traditional soundbar. Three HDMI inputs, one output, two digital optical inputs, and a Toslink digital input, as well as analog stereo input. Now, with the HDMI inputs, the YSP2200 can even decode the high-resolution audio formats up to 7.1. There's even a dock port for adding the optional wireless iPod transmitter, iPod dock, or Bluetooth receiver, all of which have complicated Yamaha model names that I'm not going to get into. The 2200 can all be set up automatically with an included microphone and a single button press on the on-screen menu. You can also see the menu input and status on the front LCD panel. To run setup, you just plug in the mic, clear the room, and Yamaha does the rest. And when you're done, you've got a, a virtual 5.1 system. And it'll actually decode real Dolby Digital, even allow you to apply Dolby Pro Logic 2 and DTS Neo Surround to two-channel audio sources. Eh, well, sort of. Uh, chances are that if your room is somewhat rectangular, then you really are completely done with setup. But if you do have a more complex or open layout, then you can manually dial in the surround using the beam adjustment feature of the setup menu. The 2200 has, as we mentioned, an on-screen menu that is pretty basic and only operates from the single composite video output. HDMI doesn't support the on-screen display. Now, using the menu, you can adjust the angle, the beam length, and even the uh, focal length. You can also adjust the image location, which has to do with the virtual position of the left and right speakers. This is handy for when you need to widen or readjust the front sound stage or the distance between the perceived left and right speakers. Now, we ran auto setup and then uh, dialed everything in until we could hear quite distinctly, in fact, our 5.1 system. Then we verified the surround sound experience by testing the YSP2200 with a variety of scenes, including the uh, pod racing chapters from the uh, Star Wars Episode One: Phantom Menace and the opening scenes from Saving Private Ryan. Now, in both movies, it was incredible to actually hear surround effects that were so pronounced. I mean, I kept having to tell myself, remember, there's no actual speakers behind me. The cake is a lie. Okay, it has nothing to do with it, but it is true. Pod racers, ricochets, explosions, even though the speakers weren't there, they came seemingly out of the walls. Only thing that we felt was lacking was the subwoofer, which, unfortunately, is actually powered by the YSP2200. While we did like the reduced footprint of the included sub, for those who want some serious slam, we're going to recommend an upgrade. Any sub that accepts speaker level inputs is going to work fine. So what's the verdict? The YSP2200 is one of the better sounding TV speaker replacements that you can get. And if you sweeten up the bottom end with a full size sub, then you've got a discrete solution that's, well, discrete. Even though individual speakers are almost always better in terms of sound quality, the YSP2200 hits a definite niche for the market that has to go the aesthetic route, but wants a decent surround experience in the bargain. You can find soundbars for less, true, even ones with wireless subwoofers, but they don't do surround sound, not as well as this does. And if you're in the market for a slim, under-TV speaker, then you owe it to yourself to check out the YSP2200. Now look, it doesn't matter what type of speaker you have, whether it's TV or soundbar, a 5.1 system or a $20,000
jukebox. I don't know. The point is, you can hear me, and if that's true, then you need to hit the like button in YouTube. Subscribe to our channel. That way you can hear more of me. Isn't that wonderful? Anyway, while you're at it, Facebook.com, Audioholics, Twitter, Audioholics Live, you know.